So the abscopal effective radiation um, is actually a very interesting um, a biological phenomena that's been demonstrated in experimental settings and also in certain diseases. Um, there are many case reports of patients with various malignancies uh, benefiting from this abscopal effect. So what do we mean by abscopal effect? Basically, it means off-target benefit from radiation, such that if you are radiating at right upper low mass, you see uh, shrinkage or response uh, in the left-sided lymph nodes, for instance, in the case of a patient with lung cancer. Um, it is hard to say uh, for sure uh, what percentage of patients that we see actually benefit from abscopal effective radiation. Now that we have different radiation delivery mechanisms, different doses of delivery, we're beginning to recognize that perhaps there might be um, the, a, a varying level of uh, immune activation based on the dose of radiation used, meaning that um, some of the literature out there support the fact that low-dose radiation is immune stimulatory and high-dose radiation could actually be immune inhibitory. Um, I would say that this area still is under investigation, but in the era where we have very effective, well-tolerated checkpoint inhibitors, um, the concept of abscopal effective radiation is under intense um, investigation. Um, I cannot tell you that in my practice I've seen a clear example of abscopal effect, but again, as I said earlier, there are uh, case reports uh, and case series of patients benefiting, um, not a lot in lung cancer, but definitely in um, uh, some of the other malignancies. So I think based on the experimental evidence and based on these case reports, there is an immune activation as a result of the use of radiation. What that dose is, um, is it um, uh, related to the site of radiation? Is it related to the kind of radiation used? I think these are all questions that we don't have an answer to. But I do think that we get some level of immune activation. Why are we interested in this? But again, because we now have immunomodulatory agents that if we learn to harvest the power of these drugs and if we can learn to really understand the potential abscopal effects of radiation, uh, such combinations can be very powerful and beneficial to our patients. Uh, but I would say at this point, uh, it is a little bit investigational. So as uh, I alluded to earlier, when uh, you are using a, a method such as radiation where you think there might be immune activation, um, given our current understanding of the way things might work uh, from an immune uh, activation perspective, uh, it is reasonable to assume that the use of a checkpoint inhibitor um, uh, can actually lead to uh, the usual activation of the T cells in a tumor microenvironment. Uh, and if you combine that with immune stimulatory effects of both chemotherapy and radiation, that you might have a more profound immune response. With chemotherapy, we think we cause um, what has been labeled uh, immunogenic cell death, meaning the uh, cytotoxic chemotherapy can actually cause uh, um, direct cell death to the cancer cells, and by virtue of um, uh, the, the process of uh, actually killing the cancer cells, there could be antigen presentation with uh, new antigens, and that can lead to immune activation. Same story applies to the effects of the radiation, uh, combined with the fact that, again, we think there might be some abscopal effect of radiation at distant sites, away from the site of radiation, uh, then having a milieu, a tumor milieu that's ready, uh, you come in with a checkpoint inhibitor uh, that activates the T cells at the appropriate time, then you could have a more profound immune activation and therefore uh, the combination of chemotherapy radiation followed by a checkpoint inhibitor uh, is uh, a, uh, a sort of an approach that I think has been attractive and now tested with proof that actually the outcomes could be uh, better for patients who get a checkpoint inhibitor after chemotherapy and radiation. And what that would suggest to some extent is that uh, the theoretical basis of this argument, meaning that both chemotherapy and radiation are immune stimulatory, could potentially be true uh, because the outcome, as we've seen in the Pacific study, suggests that uh, the use of a checkpoint inhibitor 
after, uh, almost immediately after chemoradiation is highly effective.